What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I are back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So the runoff happened last time, we are being attacked by the Ottomans. However, we have a decent force of semi-depleted infantry, but we also have fire by rank. So we should be able to out -fire, well, produce more firepower than the Ottomans. And we also have good old-fashioned artillery, which have canister shot. So without further ado, let's fight. We can sustain fewer casualties. I can reinforce my armies quicker, and then I can advance on Jerusalem quicker. Because right now I am very limited in terms of funds, and I'm spending it all far too quickly. Mostly to keep my head above water. Granted, it's because I'm not really being off offensive. Okay, so because they're attacking us and I, I am depleted, I absolutely want to take advantage of... Uh, maximizing the the amount of time they will have to engage to to move up into our position. Not an optimal display or position of firepower, but right now, uh, I don't know, actually, I suppose we could do something like this. So let's move these chaps out. So even though they're small units, I still want them to be three ranks deep. Ish. Good. So I don't want them to be exactly three, I want them to be three and then some. So what I like having some units to fill in gaps after casualties. Yeah, that's still a decent enough field of fire. So then on one flank I'll have a nice big block of infantry to do lots of good stuff. Yeah, that's what I want. Colony, um, conscripts on the outside. On this flank, I'll have uh, three good units here. Cavalry one on one flank. Pikemen ready to fill. Ready to fill a gap in the centre. Two units of conscripts spread out, ready to fill any other gaps. General on the left. And then let's fight. So all of my artillery, folks fire, well it will folks fire their artillery. Has that done a staggering job? Let's speed up time a bit. So their artillery will cause it's not going to cause a lot of damage, actually, because it's aiming at my pikes. So, so I want to make sure if... Destroyed by mass musket fire. Good. Ooh, that saw that shot. Nice little bouncing one that was. So I haven't knocked out any of their guns, but they seem content to focus fire on my pikes at the rear. And I am more than happy to let them do so. These guys are about to be hit by camels, so just charge them in. Don't 
just take the infantry, spin them around, and nod in front of the guns. Cast shot, cast shot. Threaten their guns. Come on, knock out their guns. Let's move my general a bit to a bit more of a safe position. Let's not move my cavalry too far. Move this infantry into square. Then let's spread my conscripts out because even though these guys can't fly by rank, they're not too terrible. They won't be able to, they won't be able to resist the tasty treat of a infantry square. Particularly not when these guys fire eventually. Kurdish hillmen are moving in. Okay, let's not get too crazy about changing positions. This is this side starting to feel a bit vulnerable. Sprint my cavalry out because they're just a bit ahead of their infantry. Or to be honest, just bash straight into the riskers of souls. Let's watch them bash into the riskers of souls actually. You've been having to put up with a lot out there on your own. Nope, my cavalry's just about to come to the rescue. So hit the Philae Musketeers, you and that unit. This unit of Janissary Musketeers. Well, actually, no, move them over here. I need to support this flank. So they are. They are out shooting me. Probably this unit of Janissary Musketeers doing the most of my damage. Some Andari pikemen are going to need to get some shoot, get some shots off. He 
these guys won't even shoot him at that time. Three musketeers. So we should be able to see them off. Okay, just run my general around, do some sneaky sneaks with the artillery. So I can send one guy to start. Shooting at the musketeers. So, musketeers should be doing some really good work. There's Amandari Pikemen. Let's limber up this artillery piece. Good men, brave men, trying to hold off the brooding Ottoman. Let's try to form a second defensive line. Pikemen might be better than their pikemen. And they're being shot in the back. So fire. Where's my cavalry? Oh, they made, did they make my cavalry route? That's upsetting. Let's try and fall back. Charge uphill against a determined enemy. And they have fled. Let's rotate this infantry a little bit. Then let's let the artillery do the business. Just keep on them with round shot. Don't worry about them. Wait a minute. I see you. Down the Janus Three Musketeers. Let's 
Oh no. They're trying to chase down my general. Well, I can't afford to let such an opportunity go unwasted. There we go. It's too far to chase. Because these chaps are going to get destroyed. Absolutely continue. So it's still been a blood been a bloodbath. So I could annihilate that unit, but I also want to do some damage against this unit. And there's some gunners running around. Oh no wait, these guys are still out of their guns. So okay, let's get you and you to shoot them. Good, they aren't actually targeting the correct unit. So you can see how long it takes for my my gunners to actually do the work against a, a battery standing still that's not even shooting back at them. I'll probably still need to call in my cavalry. Chase them down, lads. They have split up. So there is a bunch of them over there. Which rather skews the data somewhat. There's you back here as well. Chop, 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 chop. Chase them down. Six, three. Got him. Now. Go run into them with my artillery turned off. You should be able to bump into them. Oh, okay, now there you go. I was concerned they weren't actually showing up as legitimate targets, but that's and that it's also an Ottoman gun crew destroyed. The guy there, and then there's this guy. Get him. Don't let them get away. Come on, General. You done good. Especially on my light cavalry. Broken ran, but too fair I did lose I did stop paying attention to it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to interfere, I'm gonna let this guy run away then. If they automatically don't want to hit him, then I'm just going to let him run. Close victory. It was a bit close. It didn't help that I myself, but we will continue. I mean, we'll endure. Almost three to one. Well, actually, a four hundred off of three to one. So it's not them back, and it's not them back. We will mean we have to spend some time replenishing, but that is why we have money. Ultimately, they can. Well, I was about to say they can they can only do this for so long. Uh, so can we. Um. <coughs> there is a port in this region oh, that has not Mr. yet been developed. In Greece. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an Ooh. income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. Okay, then let's get this sloop back up to Greece. And you will send a cavalry unit forward. 
Ah, okay, so part of them has fled southward. Let's take the money. Let's take some more time to reorganize. Steal me socket bayonet, please. Good, so Greece got a bit more infantry, and then that's probably going to be all I need. Um, one would hope. Good, so may try. No, but of course, Greece to shrink. I don't want to do that because that will upset Greece quite a lot. Could probably do it upgrading you. 500 to region wealth is pretty good. I don't want to upgrade my school yet because they only just like me. So I'd probably like to well, like this. I'd like this to be upgraded, and I'd probably like to be on the way to building my theatre before I upgrade this to a college. So let's hit end turn. So what I'd like is that army to the south to go up to Jerusalem. That's the hope, anyway. God, these small small uh, factions can be hard to deal with. I thought Mexico was tricky, but at least with Mexico, you knew what you were doing. You just had to fight Spain. You could hop over and take some... You could capture some really, really good um, trade regions in, this, in the Caribbean and in South America. And it wasn't long before you knew it. Your trade economy was, was, up, and, was up and going. But... You know, as Mexico, not as Mexico, as Greece, you don't really have that option. I have one cotton plantation in Egypt that's currently producing the bulk of my uh, trade exports. Well, not the bulk actually. It's my only resource. The bulk of my trade, ex ex the bulk of my trade is just regular um, other goods. You know, crates, Mamluks, Egypt. Has Artillery workshop. So we need to wait. Tech theft failed. I don't care if his professional reputation has failed. He is going to go for it. Oh yeah, Greece has got Greece has plenty. I'm probably gonna upgrade this to Iron Master's work. It's big. It's a big expense, but it's a worthwhile expense. I don't. Well, I may as well upgrade it if they're not gonna. If they're not gonna steamroll right into me, I may as well do it. And then let's get my gentleman down to this in to turn off of that. I would like. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to upgrade, upgrade my ports, but I cannot get division of labour. Because I don't, I can't get a college. Let's spend the rest of the money on replenishing whoever I can, which isn't everyone, but it's a good step. And then it's going to turn again. But we'll see what happens, because ultimately they are pumping out a lot of, a lot of units. So I may end up needing to do some sort of irregular. Um, naval campaign, although it's the Ottomans, their navy will beat mine some of their trade with my sloops. That would be quite handy. Nope. It's quite fortunate how at the minute no other mages uh making waves when it comes to actually trying to attack me that's always a concern is your my my complete focus is on the ottomans and then suddenly if i know the americans declared on me that would be quite big um if i had to give up on my regions right now it wouldn't be so bad because i'd have a full stack would teleport immediately to another area and i'd probably really get quite a major concession for doing that Poland and the Barbie States are at war. Okay. 
Yeah, take that fail. Let's we'll try again. New nation arises. Potent. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, look, a new country exists. Ah, screw you. We'll teach you. Gorgon uh, gun. Lots of lots and lots of artillery. And they have walls, so if I did attack them, I'd probably not want to. Okay, let's have a, let's have another thought. Whoops. Lots of navy. Oh yeah, okay. They're trying again. Well, they will. They will be trying again. Ooh. We don't have quick. We don't have quick claim. We won't have quick claim for ages. I can't get a military academy, which would get me. Well, here actually wouldn't do any good. It wouldn't do very much good. Find them, That's what I might do is set them to recruit. some line infantry because I can at least then get them to the front get them to the front line and then start to uh, remove some of my conscripts of course you're going to get measuring tools which will help support my economy assault it um, I will wait and allow them to attack me and then I'll mow them down with my fire by rank. And things will be lovely. We'll take a few casualties. Then we'll capture them. I think we'll actually, we'll actually be going okay. I think we... I think we're... Pretty okay. Oh, France has retaken Vienna. So if I'm not already trading with France, I'd like to try to. And now, I'd even more so, I'd like to try and... Well, it means I might want to move my... My... Um, ooh, yes, I do hope you're concerned about France. So then you'll reorientate your forces. That would be perfect. Savoy on the move. Poland wants it. No. No, and I can't trade. No, I don't want to ally with you, Poland. You're, you are a weak nation and will draw me into future wars. So no, I shall not be your ally, I'm afraid. Poland-Lithuania? I'm sorry, slash not sorry. George is on the move. You are losing money hand over fist. Very soon there will be no money left in your treasury. There are several... Okay, hold on. It's forgotten measuring tools. Agent recruited. Orthodox missionary. Egypt. But let's move you onward to Jerusalem immediately. Because your guys are slowly converting. Anyway, agent recruited is a gentleman in Greece. Let's embark you onto the ships. Let's get you over here. And then he can run down to the school. And let's get the navy back into Athens. So is there any building I can cancel? I can cancel this. Now buy me some breathing space. So my income will be minus 400. Okay, so let's move. 
Okay, you out. Let's move. Oh, you're pretty strong. You're, you're, we'll see you're pretty strong. You're at least as good as... You're, really, you're the unit. Let's move your pikes out. So let's put you into there. Go attack Jerusalem. And you guys stick close behind. No. Resist temptation to upgrade things. Including roads. Oh, that would be handy. His car is not making much money. It's mostly coming from Athens. Okay, I can get Weaver's Cottage because my you're still I'll still be positive. And then let's take my agent and instead get him over to Iron Workshops School. Let's get him over there to start interfering with them. Um, diplomacy, Austria, peace. Damn it. Poland and Austria. Poland and Good job. I did not get into war and join the war with them. Okay, so I may actually try and just research it myself if it's going to be as much so much of a problem. Um bayonets would be would be good because it means if we get into the melee my troops have a bit of a bonus. Cool. Doesn't mean I can't steal it for the next two turns anyway, so it's not as much of a problem. Okay, let's hit and turn one more time. I'm really burning through the turns here. I'd like to get my orthodox missionary over to Jerusalem. Start converting them, because they're immediately going to hate me. You're asking for peace again, you don't... Nope. I mean, I'm hoping that... The Austrians stay focused on other places, and eventually, when my Athens army becomes of a certain size, I will advance them out and advance them on to threaten their capital. But then again, you did see those two stacks, so I need to be careful about what I do with the Athens army. Because while I, while I could lose it and recapture it, I'd rather not have to do that. The Swedes just gone whole hog. You have recruited so many units, your treasury is... Yes, I know. My treasury is literally having problems. So you... siege, and you guys stay behind. To be honest, I could just... I have to bunt, punt this up once this turn just to stop them from complaining at me. We will be flat. No, it will cause. No, it will cause um, me to shrink. It's, unfor see, it's unfortunate. I've got all these trade agreements signed up, but I cannot capitalise on them. See, in my, an ideal world, I'd have Bosnia, Serbia, Bulgaria, and be ready to fight against Istanbul. But, of course, fate intervenes. So I don't want to attack. I want to let them... I want to take... let them get... Un, get um, attrited before I end up attacking. So I have... I am, one of my units is depleted, but I'm pretty sure it's just him. Cool. Let's end turn again. To hopefully at least end this turn. Let's have a turn. Have, ha, get, try to get a turn of attrition. But hopefully I want to end this part on. Let's hope that you get this part to end on a primer for a battle for the next part.
good. They're all pulling back. Subway yards are on the move. Nope. So you're, oh, you're, ooh, you're allied and trading with France. I'm not doing either with France. No, I need to stay out of the great European wars. George is on the move. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Oh, yes, that's quite a simple. Okay, there we go. So one of our ports, one of our trade partners has opened up again. So these guys are losing fractions of men. Send turn again. Oh, I could have stolen the technology. Oh, son, these. Oh, Spain's at war with Russia. Good. Everyone's claiming war on everyone. That means they might leave me alone. And I should. Because now I have a land border with them. No. At least I should have land border. I'm trying to think if, 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 if the looks on the map it looks like they do have a a straight run towards a straight run towards um, their capital to Paris. So overland trade does have a free and complete and unhindered route, but well, I have to cancel trade with one of my existing partners. So it's who do I want to annoy to make that happen? have recruited so many units, your treasury is buckling under the weight of their upkeep. Capturing new regions would spread the costs, as well as putting the men to good use. Raising ta- mm, Raising taxes is an option. Which I might have to do. So, diplomacy, yes, I can't trade with them. It's kind of, I'm very, okay, so, okay, so I think it's, yes, they're grumpy, but, oh no, can I not, ports and, okay. Hmm. Naples, what about Morocco? Oh, that was one of my actual, oh, that was one of my proper trade, oh, nuts. Why did I not look? I thought, what, I thought, what are the odds? What are the odds of this being one of my actual, one of my actual trading relationships? That was dumb. That was really dumb. Have another little peek up at Istanbul to check that it's. See, it's not defended, but they've got two armies here ready, ready to rock and roll. Could really do with recruiting a spy. It says I want to stoke religious unrest, and yeah, Jerusalem only gets you 200 a turn. So let's hit. Hit end turn. I'm sorry, Denmark. God, that was... I'm kicking myself for that. Why did I not check which ones were active? I had so many in that list, I generally just thought, what are the odds? What are the odds? I should, I should have got rid of um, Prussia more than anything, I suppose. See, they're after an alliance again. No, I'm afraid not. Mm. 
There are not enough funds left in your treasury to build anything. Let's see, I can get 1,000 next turn. Still can't do anything with it. I don't want to move you guys out, although, to be honest, if I need to, I'll start disbanding conscripts because. Well, these. Maybe even these guys, you are much. You guys are much less used to me than conscripts are. Eh, you're not bad. But if I enter now, this should... Oh, I could have got tried to steal tech again. So the end of this turn... Well, the end of this turn is coming and it will mean that at the start of next turn we will begin with a battle. Or do I just make this now a special? I might just make this now a special. Because you, because you guys have sat through this... Well, some of you have. Um, if... Well, when they attack me... Then I'll actually fight it, and then we'll battle at the start. Lots of admin and trade and boring stuff in the middle. Then we'll have another fight before the walls of Jerusalem. They are sallying out, and they are depleted to heck. So let's do this. It's been eight, yeah, it'll have been ages since we've had an actual um, expansion turn. I wonder if it'll allow me to take it, take advantage of more of that sweet, sweet trade. Probably not. Okie <laughs> dokie. Good artillery. Well, depleted artillery. Okay, so. Over here looks pretty good, actually. Boy. Oh, yes. So much proper line infantry. Oh, so delicious. And then let's just dot spare units around. I've not deployed this unit. Okay, well, I'll deploy you just back here then. And then you back here. Cavalry on one flank, general on the other. Let's get going. Oops. You. Special fire wheels turned off. So a, yeah, so they've got. Ooh. Are my guys can actually try and fire into the centre of the. Unlikely. Hmm. I was going to say, this is their general. Ooh, I'll charge you out. Ooh. If they're not going to do anything, I'm going to put a hole in their city. Because this case, if I do this, then when they attack me, because I've got lots of fire by rank infantry, I can make a really super duper kill box. Of course, only if they play ball. I don't really want to attack because I've got all the cards and I'm Greece and I need to take this carefully don't want to do anything silly don't have the bandwidth to take anything silly to do anything silly sorry Have a bit of a look. At what point do you go? No. Nah. 
What's with my range? 800, so you shouldn't be outranging me. You are aiming at my cavalry. Yep, you got a hit off. Okay, good. So now we can actually start. Because this can't be all of them. Let's see if I can use it. See if you can hit them, then, I suppose. Even then, it seems like the order of the day is to do this. So they're advancing on one of my flanks so let's get my colonial light out of the way let's redeploy my line and let's deploy this spare unit back here too because they are attacking me they have sallied out okay then every, okay you all focus fire on well, these guys have focus fire on this unit of howitzers. Hmm. That's their organ gun. It'd be very nice to take one of those out. That's apparently how you anger their horseman unit. <laughs> if I click on them, they go for me. So let's absolutely do that. Because they will get shot to pieces as they head in. There we go, look at that. Delicious. Here they come. So let's get you to focus on that. You, you to focus on them. You just to focus on them. And let's triple speed as they as they get nearer. Because there's no point waiting. This is a great day for Greece and therefore the world. This is all they've got. Oh no, they've got Union Fellaheen back there and probably some other nasties who want to remain unknown for now. Because I'm afraid you chaps who are going to get annihilated by musket fire. I mean, no, it's a bit lame. Me sitting in the corner, but yeesh, I need I need as many breaks as I can in this campaign. So I'm trying to push my right, so I may wish to to provide a bit more support. They just shot a bunch of their own guys. It looks like these guys, they might be trying to get around the side of our flank. So you chaps will probably end up being more like this. Oh, I don't know, I they might be being overcautious. There we go, fire on, and run. Oh yeah, some cavalry trying to, trying to make it into position. Here we go. The mighty Ottoman Empire. Holding the ancient religious city of Jerusalem. Is about to walk into a volley after volley after volley of musketry. 
And there is nothing they can do to stop me either. Six so kind of shot, even if they're out of range, they will come in range. So my weaker infantry on the flank. I've got the first shots off. But now here comes the Greek line infantry. Ready to pour volley after volley. Absolutely welcome to do so. Beat him up, Greeks. You got this. These can fire an extreme angle to cover them. So who's back there? 24 pound hour. Okay. These poor souls. Hey, they now reap. Oh, they've got five by rank now. Again. Straight off the hell, it? Engaging me just out of musket range. These guys are they special units? Can they outrange me? See, so got for the organ gun. These guys running into position. to save your gunners. Change your target. Yeah, they have muskets. I do have muskets, sorry, they have swords. Run, run, run. Run straight south. There we go. Now all my guns are focused on them. Hit them now because the Moran is weak. Oh, that's it. Oh, the Auto have come back. The Auto of all things. Charge in. Victory! End of the battle! Heroic victory! It's one small step on. small hop on to Damascus. Well, it's not ours yet, but it will be. Next. well, it should be ours next turn. We shall soon see. Pair. Lock 
that down. Lock that down. Knock that down. Let's take all these guys to go hit this chap. Finish them off. We've secured our front line. Replenish as much as you can. And we're ready. I'm going to get my agent into Jerusalem to begin the conversion. Yep. So they're already they're making they can be making zero money because they only have a port. But I will replace it with a trade. Actually, what is it? Oh, is a trade port worth doing, or is it better just to keep it as a fishery? Because at least it'll earn something, and it'll get me you know, Elat will will evolve soon, which will get me a pottery potentially. Either way, though, this is a great victory for Greece. As we have secured our frontier. Cool. But, looking at a timer, even though it's not... Oh, let's do one more last turn. Because that should be enough to see us over the... to be an hour special. Um, but it's nice to be on the offensive again, as Greece, as you can see, it's... Oh, having an army full of just line infantry that can do fire by rank is... For me, it's the baseline to do well in this game. If you don't have that, you're going to be screwed. Because all the major powers in Europe have good line. Emerging powers in the colonies have line. When major colonial powers get destroyed. But generally, you're against, you're against units that have good line infantry. <gasps> France is rebelling. Did, 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 they, did they win? Oh no, don't do it, don't do it, Maratha. Don't do it, don't do it. Good. I'm all for Marathas expanding into Europe as long as it's not in at my stuff. So I might have a look at easing my taxes now. Um, I think it's probably going to be the best option. You'll keep my head above water. Yeah, no. <gasps> it is Republican France. The French have rebelled. So we're now against... We're now... Oh, no. Oh, you, you, oh Sweden. Okay, let's do this. Let's get a magistrate. I know, I know. You don't like it. You don't like this at all. And this is the new... Oh, he's got no... Oh, he's got one howitzer. To be honest, then, now I've got fusiliers, I feel a lot more better with myself. I feel a lot more secure. Because even though they've not got the best melee attack, they've got at least high, slightly higher defense. They're slightly better than conscripts in melee. And considering we've been managing with conscripts for the last few turns in this attack, that's okay. France, 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 Republican France. Uh, where's Persia? I need to get ready to trade with Persia. Because if we take Damascus, oh, it's not them, it's the Mamluks. Good, they're still indifferent. They're a protector of the Ottomans, so they probably won't trade with us. But, oh, the Moroccans are helping us out. That's rather nice of them. Um, but, oh, I was about to be looking at the time, but I need to kill some time. Okay, so why don't we discuss what my plans are for the campaign. So I want to recruit some more colonial line, ship it over to Athens, and start replacing these conscripts. If I commit this to more of an actual battlefield army, I'll send them out to do to try to do battle. Let's try to get him to steal some tech. Let's try to get him to steal... So I don't really have... Uh, advanced irrigation maybe because I'm researching because I'm researching bayonets I'm getting them in one turn so it's probably not worth me doing it's not probably not even worth me trying to steal it explicitly um, and then policies so yeah we'll get less money 
but you know, at least our towns are growing and soon we'll be under siege. But yes, yeah, looking at a timer, it's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Greece. Thank you.